I think it's part being a geek, you know, and enjoying working with the computer and the software. The rest of it is um, I just have a passion. I, I enjoy doing voices, especially character voices. It's just when you do a character voice, you step away from you. You get to escape from yourself and become another person, character. I don't think so. I don't want to do it. Listen, I don't have to do anything for you, okay? So there. I'm Vince Melamed. I used to be a musician. I played keyboards for a, for a lot of acts and toured. And then I moved to Nashville by accident <laughs> to work with Roseanne Cash and remained staying there for years and years and years and became a songwriter and did quite well. But when I moved back to L.A. Uh, and tried doing um, music for uh Accused for television and movies. It was a lot of work for very little money, and I said, "Okay, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pursue voiceover." <laughs> I've done some video games where I've had to go on Skype with South Korea, and they will, and we'll, we'll be running video at the same time, and I'm, you know, looping for them, and that was really fun. Actually, through voices, very interesting. I took five years of Spanish in school, and I did a. Uh, a commercial through voices for a taco shop and he said well there's Spanish too uh, well you want to try the Spanish I went well, well I studied in school and, uh, and the guy was patient and uh, we did it and it was neat so I got to tell people hey I did a Spanish commercial in Spanish <laughs> I would love to do a weekly cartoon series or uh, uh, I have done a few big video games I would love to do more of that you just have to stay at it you have to have patience and you have to uh, be okay with rejection. And don't take it personally. Look at, look at the copy. Imagine the copy from the writer's standpoint, because the writer's trying to uh, obviously communicate something. But then I also might research it and I also uh, will, especially if it's a foreign word or if it's an English word that you're not familiar with, Google it. There are so many sites now that, you know, will... Uh, will pronounce for you. Just be aware of direction, you know, don't ignore it, but also be aware of it and do a quick read like from your first initial reaction to how it is. Listen to it, take a break, walk away and come back to it and listen to it as that second person. Because, you know, when I was a songwriter, you know, sometimes we'd write a song so quick, oh, this is great. Next day I listen to it and go, jeez. I've done a bunch of stuff with Voices.com, and, and, and I have to say that it's all been a pleasure. I haven't run into a bad uh, situation with a client, and I sure enjoy uh, the efficiency of the SurePay system. I like that they have to put the money down uh, in escrow so that there's not a problem once the job is done about, you know, collecting. It's a good way to monitor to see what the client thought of you. You know, if, uh, I have a few terrestrial agents but there you never call up your agent and go how did i do did they enjoy it but with voices.com the stuff i do through voices.com it's great because you can see if the person gave you the thumbs up you know perhaps you're being shortlisted and plus i can always choose to do or not do an audition i think voices i've had a few people come up to me uh, that were just we're just talking and they say oh I, you know i was told i have a good voice blah, blah, blah. what should i do get a demo together even though it might be rough and join something like voices.com and learn what it's like it's great so consider voices.com your first year if you're just starting out as just good practice <laughs>